Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on a machine learning. So in this tutorial we are going to see about the different distance matrix or distance measure and what are the distance measure has been implemented inside the scikit-learn library. So let's uh, classify different dif distance measure with the help of the kind of data you have available. So you can divide this whole uh, distance meter inside like real valued space data or a 2d vector space data or if you have a integer valued uh, data as a training data or if you have a boolean data so for each of the different kind of uh, data available what kind of different distance measure you can apply on the top of this data for finding the distance between the two point that we have seen it is uh, one of the most fundamental component of k nearest neighbor search algorithm so let's see about the real valued <coughs> so for the case of real value there are like a uh, Euclidean distance, Manhattan distance, uh, Chebyshev or uh, Minovsky's uh, AC Euclidean or Marbolinus distance. So uh, this is the some of the formula I have listed for each of the uh, distance measure. This Minovsky distance is a very generalized form of all Euclidean and Manhattan distance for different value of P you can calculate either L1 norm or L2 norm or L3 norm uh, this way. So this type of uh, distance measure uh, is generally used when you have a real valued as your input training data. Uh, two dimensional vector space so that is a uh, cosine distance uh, measure this is the formula to calculate this uh, cosine distance. This type of uh, distance measure will be helpful for finding the uh, distance between the two document in a uh, whole list of uh, document so generally in case of uh, retrieving very similar document this type of vector space related distance is used two dimensional uh, space so this is <coughs> for the integer distance so if you have uh, all data which is the uh, integer value only then you can use this humming distance or Canberra distance humming distance will tell us that how many points are mm, different and how many characters are same uh, we have like a boolean vector space so in boolean vector space you can use uh, Jacquard distance or matching distance, dice distance. So these are all uh, just to give you idea that what uh, this much different types of different uh, distance metrics are available. You can use any of them based on your uh, requirement. And these are all has been already implemented inside the scikit-learn library. So now let's see uh, how uh, any of this distance matter we can use inside the scikit-learn. Okay, so I have already opened the documentation of scikit-learn. So we have seen inside this uh, scikit-learn neighbors uh, module, we have a whole family of class of algorithms like a nearest neighbor. Out of this nearest neighbor, there is a one more module, which is sub module, which is a distance matrix. Okay, so we'll go to distance. So if you see this in, in a distance matrix, whatever I have just now shown you, th these are all distance measure has been used for real value speed these are for vector space these are all for integer value space and remaining all uh, this distance for the boolean space so we if you have a data like a zero and one kind of data you can use those kind of boolean now let's see how in a very general way we can use it so let's just import this uh, library so for importing purpose i have already listed one uh, sample uh, data set x and we will try to calculate the distance between each and every individual point of this ok let me run it let's import the necessary uh, distance metric class so from sklearn dot neighbors we will import distance matrix okay we have imported it we have now input data so out of this distance matrix we'll first define what kind of distance measure you want to calculate so let's just define it like a euclidean
Euclidean and we'll assign it to something like U will give reference so it will uh, create one distance matrix reference and whose cal uh, distance calculation will be done by Euclidean so there is a whole family of identifier has been given Euclidean Manhattan Chabaisev any of this you can use for a distance measure this way you can define your distance identifier now let's apply uh, some of the method on the top of it so we have something like a pairwise distance so this is a Euclidean distance it will calculate between the pair of points of input data X which will supply okay so it has given us total a nine value so there are total three points so distance between each and every points comparison so half of the value are almost same so and this 0 0 0 indicate that the distance between that point with respect to that point only so if you see this 1 comma 1 to 2 comma 2 that is nothing but 1.41 so under under root of 1 minus 2 whole square plus 1 minus 2 whole square so under root of 2 is equal to 1.41 so this way you can import a hell lot of different uh, distance which is defined inside the documentation of sklearn distance matrix so this is just give you idea that how you can use the different distance matrix uh, inside the scikit-learn uh, you can change this identifier and you can calculate other kind of distance also so i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it thank you guys for the watching